The judiciary would never come in the way of governance if it is in accordance with law. We share our anxiety and concern regarding the welfare of the people. However, at the end of the judiciary, Indian judiciary, I shall attempt to present a broader picture about the judiciary as a whole and the highlight the issues that are affecting the system. The 100 and 140 core strong population of the world's largest democracy is bound to test its judiciary. No other constitutional court in the world hears such a wide range of issues in which large number. The situation was foreseen by the first Chief Justice of India, Justice Hiralal Kanya, who had once said, I quote, this court would be called upon to discharge its duties as perhaps no other court has so far been called upon to do so, unquote. I would like to begin with the identifying few contributing factors for docket explosion in the Indian scenario. If a Tashildar acts upon a grievance of a farmer regarding land survey or a ration card, the farmer would not think of approaching the court. If a municipal authority or a gram panchayat discharges its duty properly, the citizens need not look to courts. If revenue authorities acquire land through due process of law, the courts would not be burdened by land disputes. Apparently, these cases account to 66% of pendency. It is beyond my understanding as to why inter-departmental inter disputes of the governments or fights between public sector undertakings and the governments end up in courts. If service laws are applied fairly in matters of seniority, pension, and so on, no employee will be compelled to go to courts. It is well known and acknowledged fact that government are the biggest litigants, accord, big, biggest litigants. According to the statistics, it is nearly 50% of the cases. If police investigates properly, fairly, if illegal arrest and custodial torture comes to an end, then no victim will have to approach the courts. Abiding by law and constitution is the key for, to good governance. However, this is often ignored. The opinions of law departments are not sought in the rush to implement executive decisions. Lack of people, special public prosecutors and standing councils and the government leaders in courts is one of the major concerns which needs urgent remedy. The decisions of the court are not implemented by governments for years together. The resultant contempt petitions are a new category of burden on the courts, which is a direct result of defiance by governments. Deliberate inaction by the governments, despite judicial pronouncements, are not good for the health of democracy. The judiciary is also confronted with the issues of the executive willingly transferring the burden of decision making to it. Although policy making is not our domain, but if a citizen comes to the court with a prayer to address his grievance, the courts cannot say no.